Hello, everyone. My name is Angela Martin, Gold Consultant with Archer and Evolution. And today's training is on how to post a job ad on LinkedIn. So congratulations, you all have reached the step and decided that you want to mentor other travel agents, and that is awesome. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to go about doing that. However, before you get started, there are a couple of prerequisites that I do suggest you do prior to attending and viewing this training. The first thing is, I suggest that you have set up or attended a training on setting up your LinkedIn business page, attended a training on creating a professional job ad, or viewed a training on setting up your branch up for your businesses, okay? Your social media posts. All right, with that said, Again, congratulations. I'm sure that you're super excited to get this process going. So I'm gonna be telling you all about how to set up a job ad on LinkedIn before you actually take that leap and post your job ad. There are a few things that I suggest you do to make sure that your job ad posting is successful. So number one is making sure that your LinkedIn business page has been active for a minimum of two weeks. This allows you to build up traction and establish your presence on LinkedIn as a business. That means you need to have regular postings. We know that Branch Up provides those and do those on our behalf. So setting that up will be very beneficial to ensure you have regular postings on your page. But you can also th do things like mock bookings, include travel tips, or whatever else you would like to do that brands your business, okay? I highly recommend that. The next thing you wanna make sure that you've done already before you post your job ad is make sure that you have a professional job ad. That is different, quite different actually from a Facebook job ad, okay? That is more casual. A professional job ad, make sure that you create that. There are many helpful tips if you go to Indeed, you can look at uh, job descriptions, but I'm sure that that is covered in the creating a professional job ad uh, training. But just have your mentor review your job ad before you post it, just to make sure you don't have any words in there that could flag your job ad and prevent you from getting it posted on LinkedIn. During the two week time, while your LinkedIn business page is gaining traction, you wanna also Build up your network to a minimum of 100 people. These can be people that you do not know. They can be in your area, people that um, you know, their friends. Connect with a minimum of 100 people, okay? And that is a minimum. You can do this on a regular basis, and I highly recommend it because the more people that see your business page, the more interaction and engagement, the more your posts get to a larger audience. So those are just some essential tips before you post your job ad. Now, what about after, okay? And this is very important just as well, okay? So after you post your job ad, the first thing you wanna do is follow up with the applicants within a day or two, okay? Provide them two to three informational meeting dates and times um, to see what works best for their schedule. And these should also be informational meeting dates and times that you would also be available to attend with your prospect, okay? You wanna schedule their informational meeting using a pointlet or Calendly, whichever one you're choosing to use. Um, a pointlet is completely free. It handles the job very well. Calendly has a free two week trial. So that's also an option um, for you. They have a lot of wonderful features that you get for free for that first two weeks, just to get the feel for it, to see if that's something that you would be interested in doing, okay? Now, I also mentioned that you can include a link when you uh, message them, you can provide them a link to your appointment or Calendly so that they can select the dates and times themselves. That way you don't have to go back and forth. Also, after they have scheduled a meeting, okay, their informational meeting, appointment and Calendly, both of them send an email confirmation to your prospects. However, if you do not have um, an automatic reminder set up, in your appointment or Calendly, I think appointment you have to send the reminders uh, manually. I do this myself, so it's not a big deal, but you do wanna send a reminder email. I tend to do it a day before, and I will send a reminder email 30 minutes before their scheduled informational meeting, okay? Um, some agents do this differently. They will send the um, reminder email an hour before the informational meeting and then send a text message with that reminder as well. 
You will figure out what works best for you along the way. Sometimes I have texted as well. So it's really up to you in terms of figuring that part out. But make sure after you've sent that reminder that you attend the informational meeting with your prospects. This is very, very important because if they are ready to get started, you will need to provide them with your link, um, your en enrollment link so that they can get started, okay? Now we are gonna take this step by step. So bear with me as I back out of this screen. All right, so I'm gonna go to my LinkedIn business page. I already have a job posting set up. So I'm gonna work backwards and then we're gonna work forward so I can show you how to post, okay? So the first thing that I'm showing you here is a job posting that I already have, independent travel agent, okay? I posted this a day ago and it has had nine views so far and I've had three applicants, okay? You will be able to view this um, in your screen and I'll show you how to do that. Now, I've already contacted all of these applicants a day after they applied. I didn't want to do it the same day. I wanted to do the day after they applied. So I'm going to show you a message that I tend to send. Of course, you are able to do whatever you want, okay? So I in, um, say hello, whatever their name is. I reviewed your application for our independent travel agent position and am impressed with your background. I like to schedule you for a Zoom meeting to learn more about the role. Please click click the link below to schedule a date and time that works best for you. I provided my Calendly link and I tell them I look forward to seeing them at the meeting. This is that initial contact so that they can go ahead and schedule themselves for a, a meeting, date and time that works best for them. I know because I will be alerted in my email when they have scheduled their informational meeting, okay? Now, for demonstration purposes, I am gonna manage this job Manage this job and I'm going to, there are a couple of things you can do here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually close the job for now, okay? I'm gonna repost it, but I'm gonna close the job post, okay? So it's gonna ask you this little thing. I'm gonna exit out of that, okay? Because I'm gonna show you the process for actually setting up the job post. So the first thing you'll do is from your LinkedIn business page, okay, that has been building traction over this two weeks, you wanna click on the work icon. Click on that and then click on post a job, okay? Once you click on that, you will have to enter the job title, your travel business name, the workplace type, it could be on-site, hybrid, or remote. We know that remote is very popular, so always select that. Enter the employee location. I always use the United States. You can also do Australia or Mexico, or you can just use it as the United States. You have job type listed here, and you have full-time, part-time, and contract. And either of those will work. Um, for this demonstration, I am gonna select full-time, and I'm gonna select get started for free. When you select get started for free, it's gonna ask you to tell them about the role. So this is where you get to copy and paste your job description directly into their system. Notice how I have bolded the section headers in each section to make sure that those areas pop and people can easily see the different things about the job, okay? And you want to make sure that the responsibilities and duties clearly outline what they'll be doing as a travel agent, okay? Notice here that I put benefits. Although Archer doesn't provide health insurance, they are uh, ap applicants are able to get health insurance through ASTA, which stands for American Society of Travel Advisors. They can get health insurance through there, so I do list it as a benefit. They have access to monthly bonuses if they choose to mentor other agents um, as well. And then of course, flexible hours because we determine our own schedule and it is fully remote as well as the travel agent perks. These are just some helpful things you wanna include on there to make it more attractive and stand out. Notice that I include here on the education and experience, five plus years of customer service experience. I say it's required, but hey, you can change that to two years, one year or whatever you choose so that it can reach a broader audience. I choose five because I want people who are well-established in understanding customer needs and understanding how that process works. But of course, again, you can choose whatever you like. Down here in the skills section, I've maxed out the number of skills, but basically you can add keywords or skills that are 
pertaining to the job to make it more visible to the right candidates. So I included things like independent travel, organization skills, hospitality, travel agency, tour operators, travel arrangements, skilled multitasker, travel itineraries, employee benefits. I think I might remove that one and add a separate skill here. But I want to show you what that looks like. It's not allowing me to add one. After you've done that, you can preview what your job post will look like. And you'll notice I included about the company section just so they can know a little bit about um, me, myself as well as how I like to run my travel business as a, a business owner. And then uh, qualifications and skills. And you can see the different sections there. So I'm going to close out. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to hit next. Now, you get to choose how you want to receive your applicants. I select by email at an email ad address that I know I check regularly. But let's look at the other options. You can do an external website. Obviously, we don't want to do that. We want to do it by email. So I'm going to select email and keep it there. Now, you can add screening questions. They recommend adding three or more, um, but these are questions the applicants must answer, okay? Do they have a high school diploma? My ideal answer for a candidate is yes. The reason why I say that is because I know that at least they're 18. In order to be a travel agent, they have to be 18 years old. So if they have completed high school, I know that they meet that criteria, okay? I can even go a step further and put must have qualifications so that anyone who applies without this minimum requirement, they will not even be uh, uh, viewed or seen by me, okay? So have you completed the following level of education? Bachelor's degree. My ideal answer is yes, okay? Um, that's because I like people who are go-getters and people who have uh, a resolve about themselves. And I know that people who pursue higher education have some of those qualifications. So my ideal yes, uh, answer is yes, but it is not a must-have qualification by any means because we do provide all the training that they need on um, site, okay? So then there are other screening questions that you can add. Location might be one if you have it like um, centered to global or you don't have a specific location selected. Um, you can ask about location here. All right. And then next, it's going to let you know that there's going to be a hiring photo frame placed around your profile picture and they will notify, notify your network that you're hiring. This is why it's so important to build up your network to a minimum of 100 people before you actually post your job ad. So now we're gonna post job for free. And let me go ahead and put in my email address because when I click that, okay, so I'm putting that in now and I'm gonna post job for free, okay? Notice when I do this, basically what it's going to do is letting you know the free one, you are expected to get two estimated monthly applicants, which is not a lot, okay? I got three within 24 hours, so that's not 100% accurate. You'll notice that they have a promoted um, job ad, and a lot of times if it's your first time getting a job ad up, they will allow you to do a promotion um, or promote your job for about three or four days. So that is something you can do, but it is not recommended to pay for it, okay? Especially as you're just getting started out. So you select the free option and your job post is free. Um, improve your job post. It gives you some of the things that you can do um, and you can select benefits, of course, medical insurance. We talked about that. Um, and there's really nothing else here. So I'm just gonna save. Now you can add compensation information as well. All right, now once you have done that and you've completed that, it'll say in review, created five minutes ago, free job post. Your job post will be reviewed within 24 hours. Now what I wanna show you is what it looks like when they send you um, an um a message in your email, okay? So they will send you a message in your email and I'm gonna pause this really quickly. Okay, so I'm back now to show you. Notice how I received a message from LinkedIn Jobs indicating that I had um, closed the job posting that I previously had. And then it's giving me another message indicating that your job 
um, independent travel agent is in review. So it is now being in uh, is now being reviewed, and it takes up to 24 hours after your job has been posted one time. It usually doesn't take that long. So I'm suspecting that within the next hour or so, I should have another email and less and probably less time than that, another email that um, indicates that the job post is active, okay? So let me just go in here and I wanna remind you of what to do after, after, okay? After you have applicants. So remember, follow up with your applicants within a day or two after they have applied. You want to catch them at their height of interest for this role. So make sure that you reach out to them a day or two later, okay? Provide them with two to three informational meeting dates and times that works for them or send you uh, send them your link for a pointlet or Calendly so they can select, select the days and times themselves. Next, you wanna make sure that you schedule their informational meeting if you haven't sent the link in a pointlet or Calendly so that they are sent an email confirmation with the, the date and time, okay? Make sure you send a reminder email. You might have to do this uh, manually and that's completely fine. I do it all the time. Send it either a day before or an hour before the actual informational meeting or, and or I'll say you can send it an hour before the meeting and then a text reminder. You can choose however you wanna do that. And make sure, lastly, that you attend that informational meeting with your prospects. And again, good luck to you. I wish, wish you all the success. Um, please reach out to your mentor if you have any further questions. You all have a great day.